welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will try to show you how to install and configure crony to be as a network time protocol and tb for your server or your laptop or your pc or whatever you will use it for as an ntb service so but before we get started we need to understand what is crony exactly crony is a flexible implementation of a network time protocol ntb it's used to synchronize the system clock from different ntb servers reference clock or via manual input it also can be used ntb version 4 server to provide the time service to the other servers in the same network so after we try to understand what is crony and what is used for so we'll start with the practical side and the first step we need to install it and in this demonstration i will try to show you how to configure it as client server um client server network protocol so this will act as a client this will act as um, a server uh, here uh, we have an operating system called uh, a ponto server cat etc uh, os released as you can see here i have 20 okay uh, 04 the release for uh, uh, ponto so i will clear the screen and also i am who am i i am also a root user uh, clear okay in both operating system okay now we i will proceed to install the um, crony so it's a simple command apt install okay and after apt install i will put crony then dash y and then i will hit enter here we'll download it from the archive i want to and then we'll install it here also the same app install crony okay minus y then i will wait until this one finished okay as you can see here it's finished so i need just to check time date ctl status to see as you can see here i have here the date and time and also the ntb service also it's active as you can see here i will also here time date ctl as you can see here also synchronized after after finish installing crony you need to know that crony consists of three components crony d which is you can see it ds minus ef grid minus i crony d as you can see it's a daemon service that's running in the background to provide this service and also provide for us a service so this is the crony d is the daemon the background process running to sync the time for us the other component is crony c okay and this is the common prompt that we can configure monitor control the crony d and also we can also write to the crony conf which this one cat etc etc crony okay then crony dot conf as you can see here this is the configuration where you can add the configuration to control and add more options for the crony uh, daemon process so once we know that this three components that crony consists of we need to know how we can check which source we are taking and tracking also the crony so we need to crony c as you can see here okay um then we can add let's say sources sources okay then here will show us crony all the sources that we are using as you can see we're using all these sources but the active current one this one 
as you can see here how i know that we can add sources minus v this will show you that each symbol here this one as you can see here this is the server the current thing this one the current thing and you can also have more detail i will leave in the below um, description box for this video the link that will show you more details about and more documents to if you want to increase your knowledge and dig down deep with how to configure crony but here i will show you the simple things okay now as you can see no need to uh, do anything if you have if you are in the online environment so how we know that we are syncing so we need to do crony c sorry crony c then tracking so we can track okay the, that we are using this server right now to uh, as an ntb server providing a service for us ntb service for us okay uh, okay now we need what to do we need to now configure this server to take from this this client to take the ntb service from this server so we need to do some edit for the we need to do some edit for the configuration file bi or then etc crony crony dot conf then we just need to remove this one i will take the if we are an offline we don't have the we don't have the the, the ability to reach the internet so we can just do this configuration this will help us to local to provide ntb service for other servers using this crony server then then i will allow as you can see here if i do ib a grip i net as you can see here my ib is this so i need to add this one here allow paste but i need to change this one that's mean all the hosts belong to this to this network will be allowed to take from this ntb service or ntb server so i will save okay okay after i add this one i need to system ctl restart okay and after restarting the crony crony okay we restart the crony i need to do time date status as you can see here everything is set fine the ntb service is active but we are not seeing because already it's offline we don't have the source to sync so here will be sync should be sync so if i do i need to edit also then etc crony then crony the config i need to also edit this one i press i just to the vim to allow me to insert so here i will add okay here i will add my server so as you can see here this is the server so if uh, sorry i b a grip i net as you can see here this is the ib that i have so i need to add this one in the crony config in the client so i can take it from here add like server then paste then 
I first then prefer this one to make it prefer so even if you have other servers you can prefer one of them let's say you have two server so you can put one as prefer so if it's uh, unable to connect and uh, to take the time from this server it will fail to the another one and like this uh, it's a simple configuration for the client no need to add more like this it will work fine so I will just uh, save uh, system CTL restart crony just crony yes like this so we can check if the server taken by crony c then source sources as you can see here this is the current server right now it take time from this server we can check right now system ctl uh, sorry um we can check right now crony c then we can tracking to check as you can see here the ntb i think try to uh, sync with this server okay clear as you can see here i think it's done so it's simple configuration this is for local configuration so if you want to take the ntb service from uh, online you can just uncomment that this one get etc or uh, slash etc crony then crony config you can just uncomment this by default it will provide a time for you from the online or internet but in case if you don't have online uh, ntb service or you are you have a server or vc disconnected and you have the like internet work you are not connected to the internet you can provide like this um, using this uh, option to have this as a server and this as a client and provide a time for your servers offline servers so i will try to put a link below down and there is all the comments that i used so you can follow up with this document and try to have more or further details i will also put some links lead to the documentation if you want to have more details about how to configure crony um, as a reference so i hope you enjoy in this video have a nice day thank you for watching bye